I was surprised at the devastation. I was just surprised how tore up everything was. And I thought that this stuff was built for a hurricane. September 13, 2008, Hurricane Ike demolished Galveston Island State Park to the point that some thought it would take seven years to reopen. It looks like they're gonna take everything out and start over from scratch. But for the employees and friends who grew up visiting the park and knowing its importance to the public, that wasn't good enough. We had almost 2,000 acres of debris to clean up. And at the same time, we were getting a busload of about three and 400 people almost every other day coming in and helping us. We may have 300 Catholic school girls come out, ages about 12 to 16. And the next day, we may have about 100 college age Nebraska big kids come out to do the work of 300 people. In record time, Galveston Island State Park transformed from wreckage to a tidy but temporary new park headquarters open to the public. Galveston State Park, this is Tiffany. You know, everybody was just like kind of at all that yeah. within six months we were back open again. So we've been booking about a month and a half to two months in advance. I think that was a surprise for everybody. Yes, sir. Although the park is open. The first two rows are gone now. It's not back to full capacity. Yes, sir, for Mike. Down from 180 campsites to approximately 60. It's really funny, the people that come back now ask for premium sites, and they don't realize that all of our sites are premium sites now. The storm has taken out the front two rows, so from every one of our sites now, you can view the ocean. And of course, it was all done to reopen the park to its 177,000 annual visitors. I think the Parks Department did a great job getting what they could up and running again. I mean, clearly they're missing three quarters of what was here with the, the beach eroding back. But it's looking great what's here. I mean, the new bathroom facilities, the showers uh, are great. All in all, we love it. For Texas Parks and Wildlife, this is Lydia Saldana.